Ralph 2, uh, the trailer for that movie. Um, now, you guys, you all saw the trailer, right? Man, they're wrong for this trailer. Like, the ending of it, they're just so wrong for that. I just uh, want to jump that straight. Was, that was, made me laugh. Everybody laughed that it was so wrong. <laughs> mm, that girl needs to understand what life is really about. Uh, <laughs> what happens when you feed the bunny too much pancakes. Uh, so, play that. Well, go ahead, man. Um, so okay, I did a lot of talking. Um, anybody want to take it? So, what were you guys' initial impressions of the trailer? You know, 90s, yeah, man. Okay, so I enjoyed the first record, Ralph. I enjoyed every um, every uh, bit of video game knowledge they threw into there. I don't really know how they got the rights, I probably should have done a little bit of research on that part, but yeah, they just threw in every major video game in history. Just um, and then they bring up how retro games are like well, 10 years ago and all this stuff, how we viewed them as retro. But yeah, I'm, I'm somewhat looking forward to this. But after the trailer, I look forward to it less. It's like, yeah, they're going on the Internet now and they have um, all of these ad blocks or whatever. Well, not ad blocks, but just like, um, yeah, these 10 celebrities had um, this drug addiction or something like that. It's like, oh, you, you don't say. It's mm. like, yeah, now it's changing from what I enjoyed it for. Congratulations, you're a winner! Really? These ten child stars went to prison. Ooh. Number six will amaze you. That sounds interesting. Well, Ralph, come on! I don't know if they're going to steer away from video game stuff, but... It would be kind of hard. That That's my one fear, is I doubt we'll see any kind of winks and nods at video games like they did the first time. Like, there were a lot of really subtle jokes in the first Wreck-It Ralph that were given, like, half a second, and you, if you blink, you miss it. Like, even Graffiti on the Wall had some nice wink and nods to video games. And Mario didn't want to be in that, but it went in another kind of crappy movie. But they did the Super Mario Brothers movie, but they wouldn't let it be okay. a record Ralph. So we are seeing a little video games with the child thing. But, yeah, I am interested and also cautiously optimistic they can do some fun stuff with the Internet. But, yeah, I, I, I came for the video games. Hmm. Same. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't really a huge fan of Wreck-It Ralph the first one. I thought it was okay. Um, I wasn't really big into it. And this one, and so it has him going, you know, on the internet. So you, you see a lot of those internet things and him, you know, going around the net, like you say, with the ads. They see one segment where they're in eBay and they're seeing like a live auction of it. Um, it I'm curious to see what they do as far as to play around in the world of the internet because one of my issues with the first Wreck-It Ralph was that they like it was supposed to be this big you know thing about video games, but they really only go to like a few video game places. Two, like, like yeah, just two. So it's like they go to one place and then they go to the Sugarland place, right? Yeah. Or yeah, Candyland and the Sugarland place, and that was it. And then it goes into that tired animated thing of and you know be yourself and it's okay and you know you know it's okay who you are you know there's nothing wrong with that. It's like oh Jesus here you know like that old that old thing again. Um. And hopefully they can do more with the internet and play around with that more and, you know, do more creative gags and more stuff like that. Because, um, you know, Wreck-It Ralph did have some funny stuff in there, too, like the whole uh, Qbert, where Qbert was homeless. Like, that was funny. Here you go, buddy. It's fresh. Straight from Pac-Man's. Hang in there, guys. You know, he went this, like, <laughs> it was also kind of a nice kind of wink and a nod to the arcade that Cuber, ah, he's an old school. People who remembered him, that was nice. Kind of like, oh, that's cool. I wasn't, I was, I'm too young to remember the 80s arcade stuff, but I did grow up in a mall that had some of those old arcade machines. So, yeah, you know, so which is ironic because in Japan, those, those are still big arcades and things like that. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, arcades are are really big in Japan. Mm, okay, they're just um, they're just a different, completely different culture because it's about socializing, ah. and arcades are a great way to kind of like get people to do stuff together and socialize. A lot of co op, different games in there, mm. and it, it's just a completely different culture. But over here, that is just not not the same. Mm, okay, I'm surprised about that. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. 
This one, I, I mean, am I excited to see it? Not really. I don't think all that much. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna break my neck to go see it. Um, just great for Disney. I mean, Disney's gonna make, they gonna make all the motherfucking money. They got so many movies come out. I mean, he's gonna. That was actually something that money. got interest me. The guy who's the people who are selling eBay and the kind of blockheads, I guess that's supposed to be our selves that are going through the internet, like people's avatars. They remind me of Inside Out. And yeah. It, but then there's like a huge contrast to the really super realistic faces that they did for uh, Moana. Hmm. So it's kind of like, it looks like they're doing like three different styles. Like, cause they got the Wreck-It Ralph universe where it was kind of video gamey and hmm. kind of interesting kind of art design. And then I got this kind of me verse kind of inside out style. Hopefully if nothing else, well, I am cautiously optimistic. It, that last 30 seconds, if there's more dark humor like that. Oh, come on. Yeah. If there's more things like that, or it doesn't have to be dark. If there's just more stuff like that where they just kind of have fun and are a bit more playful, I think that it'll be all right. Will it be great? Probably not, but it'll at least be entertaining. Yeah. My, If nothing else, it'll be better than the Emoji movie. True. I mean, and for, I, not, and I for, and for nothing that. else, I just want another reason for that movie to go down in flames and keep burning in that dumpster fire it created for itself. Yeah. Let me let me not make my next statement then. Um, I was gonna compare it to the emoji movie because it was like memes and internet and everything, but uh, you just I think right. But <laughs> at least it understands that. At least this movie seems to understand that we we can have a we can have a story too, mm-hmm. and at least be funny. Okay. We yeah, have, yeah. like even the point where it's like all these different ad people are showing up, and he's like. All oh, these ten people hor- committed these horrible acts. Number six is interesting. Oh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> it's, do you? They're all clickbait. Okay. Do you think they're still going to bring in the video game aspect as far as because you see I the think last first. last thirty seconds? You see, like, which to me, like, that was funny. The last thirty seconds when they show like him feeding the pancakes to the two, like in this child's game, like that was that was funny. I um, think. So do you think they're going to bounce around in like the video games and phones, like the? Like, I the, think. So, so? I think yes. I think they'll do probably. I th- this is this is my guess. The first 15 minutes is them setting up the Wi-Fi, checking into our previous characters, checking on what they're doing. Mm. Um, there'll probably be a moment when they're lost and his buddy um, Fix It Felix and the uh, the sergeant from uh, Call of Duty. Um, uh, yeah, Heroes Jane, Duty. Sorry. Yeah, Jane Lynch. Yeah, sure. Jane Lynch. Mm-hmm. Um, they'll be like, "Oh snap! We gotta, uh, we gotta go find out what happened." They're all over the internet now, and maybe they'll like, it'll be them, and maybe they bring along another, maybe Qbert and like another video game character, and they'll be like doing it at the same time, and they'll be like introduced to other wacky things. So that'll be the B plot, and mm-hmm. then the A plot will it be them just Wreck It Ralph exploring the internet and like not understanding the limits of his character and him screwing around with people's phones. Mm-hmm. and their games and realizing that like wow my game sucks mm. <laughs> um, so it, it, i don't know like to me that's what i think they'll probably do it'll probably video games will probably be mentioned for 10 minutes the very beginning mm-hmm. and then won't come back into the picture until the last 10 minutes of the movie if that probably a little closer to five okay um i can tell you the, the premise of the movie right here sure. um it says, so taking place six years after the events of the first film, the story will center on Ralph's adventures in the internet database when a Wi-Fi router gets plugged into the arcade as he must find a replacement part to, the, to fix Sugar Rush. Uh, along the way, Ralph and his best friend, uh, Vanellope, um, encounter new customs, worlds, and characters such as tragedy, uh, such as the trendy algorithm, Yes, <laughs> and the princess uh, and the Disney princess lineup. So apparently all the Disney princesses will be in this movie. Every okay, I kind of... Um, all right, my, my, my joy for this movie is now kind of taken. Yeah. But it's, I mean, I mean it's kind of cool. Like, uh, the woman yeah. who, like, voiced Milan in the animated movie, she'll come back to voice Milan. No kidding. Yeah, so she'll be back. Right. I wonder if that's the same with all the, the people who, who are voiced. I wonder if, like, all the same actresses who voiced them in the animated movies will come that back That would be voice. impressive if they do that. I'm seeing so far, yeah, like the same woman who voiced Milan is coming back. A, a Ming name Win, she's coming back. Is uh, is Irene coming back for Pocahontas or Linda or all the other people? Yeah, Irene. Yeah, she's coming. I'm back just for looking Pocahontas. at Wikipedia page. That's how I know their names. Yeah, she's coming back for um, Pocahontas. Yeah, 
Um, yeah, uh, Linda Larkin. Hmm. Yeah. So it seems like all the same people who voiced them in the like the original animated movies seems like they're all coming back to voice them again in this movie. Um, which okay, that that could be maybe kind of cool. I guess. I mean, maybe. Um. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not huge in the Disney princesses, but I'm like maybe that no. could be that maybe that could be a fun gag. Maybe if they do something like that, maybe. Uh- It'd be a fun yeah. gag, like um, like I remember, like an SNL skit where they were all like the Real Housewives, of D- the Disney princes, were all kind oh of my like, God. Where they're all kind of bitches to each other. Maybe it'll, yeah. that'd be kind of funny. Maybe that would be funny. Does your hair birds? At least I didn't marry a beast. His name is Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> That would be funny. Um, if they're playful with the subject matter, that's fine. But again, I, I'm with 90s. I came for the video games. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what brought me in. Hey, that's what brought me. That's who brought me to the party. Yeah, and I'm scrolling through the um, comments of the trailer. And mo- so many people are saying, like, yeah, is this Moji Movie 2.0? Like, the Moji Movie oh done right? Yeah. Probably, yeah. It'll probably be the Moji Movie done right. Um, I'm hoping so. I mean, look. Even if it's bad, it's bad by Disney Disney standards, which means it'll be a safe bad. Mm. Yeah. Which, it, it, hey, I, it, like w- the last, it'll be boring and safe if it's not terrible. It won't be terrible. Oh, that, that's um, that's funny. Somebody in the comments said the the little girl at the end, she kind of looks like Moana. Like it looks like <laughs> the exact same. Look, <laughs> it's just the exact probably. Same, just I will say the. I will say the mom that drives that drives the little girl. Yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty good looking. Yeah. She's looking fine. No. All right. So, um, would you guys go see this like open at night, open a weekend? Oh no, no. I have a friend. Um, she's um, I've known her for a long time, and she loves Disney movies. So, yeah, if I get invited, if like I get invited to it, or she like asks us to come along, I'll go. Mm. If only for her. If only for her in that opening weekend. Otherwise, I'll wait. Okay. Like I'll wait like a few days, and then I'll wait for, like, it to come out on other means. Okay. All right. And I'll watch it. All right. And I'm just waiting for all the memes when somebody posts stuff on like Facebook, Twitter. Like, yeah, when you get that message, and then they show the little girl's face right there. Oh yeah, that is definitely meme worthy right there. Her screaming. <laughs> that's meme. Oh yeah. Um. All right. So, uh, that's it for talking about. Uh, break the internet. Uh, Ralph breaks the internet. Wreck it, Ralph. Oh, do you to... think they'll do a moment with like they'll make fun of the Kim Kardashian moment with him? Oh, like, the... oh. oh, no, it'll be his butt, and he'll be his face, his face over like the no. butt or something. Oh, Cause... no, because you got it. Like that's the first thing I thought when they said breaks the internet. I'm like, oh no, they uh, might they do make it that too. joke. It's obvious. Yeah, they they might do some like trying to be hip, trying to be cool. You know, like hey, this is what the kids are liking. This is what the kids are into. Yeah, like they, if they, they if, might, they, they if might it goes shit. for they're trying to make that joke, but then the joke is that they don't make the joke. I'll laugh. Okay, mm-hmm. that yeah, that'd be great. And it's it's coming out Thanksgiving too, so it's gonna be yeah. families out there no matter yeah. what. It'll be a holiday movie. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. So moving on from talking about break, Ralph breaks the internet, break Ralph two. Hello, thanks for checking out our content. If you liked it, let us know. And if you didn't, let us know that as well. If you want to see more content, we post every Saturday on SoundCloud and YouTube at The Afternoon Tune. You can also find us through various social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all one word at The Afternoon Tune. And if you don't deal with any of that social media stuff, you can also find us through our email at TheAfternoonTune at gmail.com. And don't forget to always...